morning, good morning, good morning, C Squared Squad. It's your girl, Cece, if you're new to my channel. If you're already a member of the family, welcome back, fam. Today is a pivotal moment in the Chapman clan gang, okay? It is so big for us, and I'm so excited. But y'all know we family, so I wanted to bring y'all along. So we are up. It is 7 o'clock in the morning. The gang's all here. <laughs> Because this guy, but what's really special is this girl had their college orientation today. So we are kicking the vlog off with big, big things. So come on, y'all, let's go to college. the Starbucks but we are stuck in the Starbucks line I don't know if y'all can see because hanging out with Peggy and Soraya they convinced me to try matcha like give it another try so I did and I found a way that I actually like it well now that's my drink of choice right now and that's what I want but we just came to Starbucks sat in this line for like 15 minutes kid you not and they're like we're all out of matcha today So now, I have to go find another Starbucks because that is what I want. So that's what I'm going to have. And there's a nothing bunt cakes, baby. And there's a nothing bunt cakes up the street. 
Well, in the same shopping center as Trader Joe's. Um, and I want to try that too. Because I don't know if y'all know. But it's cancer season. So do you know what that means? That means your girl's birthday. I think we are like officially two weeks away from my birthday. My birthday is July 8th. Um, so yeah, I'm super excited about it. If you can't tell, I love celebrating my birthday. Um, yeah, fun fact, when I was little, I used to like ask my grandma all the time, like, did you invite people to my birthday party? Did you invite people to my birthday party? And she, every year she would always tell me like the 4th of July was like the invitation to my birthday party. Like all of the fireworks, all of the humbug, everything was so people knew that my birthday was four days away. And I believed it for the longest time, but yeah, my birthday is the 8th of July. 4th of July, so let y'all know y'all got four days. It's kind of like the the notification that y'all got four days to my birthday. So, yeah. So, I'm excited. And because my birthday is coming up, I think I should have the things that I want. And I want a matcha latte. So, let me tell y'all how I order it. Because if you think it's nasty, like I thought it was nasty, maybe this will help you out. So, I get... um the ice a venti ice matcha latte with oat milk because the oat milk make it a little bit sweet then you get the strawberry puree at the bottom then you get four pumps of mocha and then you get a vanilla cold foam on top with ribbon crunch in 500 Bussin. feet your destination will be on so the So I left. guess we're gonna go to Trader Joe's, nothing bun cakes, and then find me another Starbucks. So yeah. I can't believe I believe everything we have will last. We don't get naive of me to think she was from your past. Silly of me to dream of one day having your kids. Love is so bright, it feels right when it's wrong. I can't believe I feel for your skin. Girl, take it. I only got one extra thing, which was the little um, colored plant, and that was because it was a, like a little RV thing, and it was cute, so I got it. But I'll show y'all when I get home. And then I got my real baby, my red velvet bun cake. So I'm about to tear into this. Bae's about to take me to where? Star Beezies. So I'll show y'all when I get my drink. We got the goods, but immediately this is not what I ordered the other day. So let's call Soraya and ask her what we did wrong. Can you call my baby? I'm gonna tell you what, what I mean is what you did wrong. And I think I was supposed to get white mocha instead of mocha. Was I supposed to get white mocha or just mocha? White mocha pumps? Yeah. That's what I did wrong. Alright, that's all I wanted to know. Alright, bye. Bye. So, don't get mocha pumps, get white mocha pumps and your drink will still be green. My drink looks like chocolate milk. It tastes a little bit like chocolate milk, but what else? Then, okay, what I'm seeing is to make your RV or your house a little bit more homey, everybody's doing like flower bouquets. Your girl is not, I was never a flower girl. What's my favorite flower, babe? My favorite flower is sunflowers, and I typically will grow them myself, but of course I'm not doing that in an RV. Um, so I almost, almost bought some flowers, but I was like, girl, we don't know what we're doing with flowers. So I'm gonna do a little bit of research. If y'all are green thumbs or y'all are flower enthusiasts, let me know below how to take care of these flowers, how to keep them alive, because I want to do a little bouquet for the bathroom. I think I want to do uh, redo our RV bathroom setup, I think. So we have been out ripping and running, running and ripping, and yeah, ooh, ooh, the sun. So y'all see, we 
eat oysters, our new favorite thing um, that we've discovered our taste buds have been craving. So it was their opening week. It's called, what's it called? Charlie's? Good Charlie's. Good Charlie's Oyster Bar and Grill in the Woodlands. And the food was A1. It was amazing. So because we can't be bad parents, about to go pick up our kids and take them to go eat pizza they don't got to know about our little excursion until they see this video so um yeah they wouldn't have appreciated it anyway but the food was really 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 good we got char grill oysters with bacon on top and then we got um Obey fries. Well, I got those for babe. Obey fries. And then I got crab and lobster dip. And it was so good. Like, everything was delicious. It was their opening week. So, like I said, if you're out in the Woodlands area, in the Houston area, um, definitely, definitely, definitely check them out if you like oysters. If you don't like oysters and you don't like seafood, this restaurant's not for you. Um, so, yeah. Head to go get the kids. Take them out to eat. And so we'll see y'all a little bit. Hey y'all. Yeah, I know. I know. I know. I was supposed to be in came back. And we're supposed to go do some things. Refresh and all the things, right? Yeah, that didn't happen. Um legit been running around getting these kids together. Ready for school. Mom and adults. And this week has been a lot of stuff that y'all don't like. Y'all probably care about, but it's not nothing to record or show. It's been a lot of, like, adulting, for real, for real. Um, but today is Babe's last day, official last day in the Marine Corps. How you feeling? Turn right <laughs> so, we out and about. Uh, the Winleys invited us out so we going to hang out with them so we will catch up with them in a little bit i only got some of the crew with me we got grayson we got soraya gabe did not want to go so he is at home with the dogs chilling we we'll probably extra money. bringing him you said what he tried to make extra money how you gonna make some money you want to wash the truck <laughs> i don't think you can wash your car here at the rv park Your grass, you can wash the car. Okay, well, <laughs> you know my family rule breakers, but what anywho, um, I don't, what, was my hair out the last time I saw y'all? I don't know, but we took our hair down because we get our hair done tomorrow. We are trying our first, let me take these glasses off. We're trying our first Houston stylist, so fingers crossed. We love our hair because we don't want to do it ourselves. Now turn right um, on to Decker Prairie Road. When I get set up and situated, I'm going to bring back Glam by CC. My website is still up. There's nothing on it because I don't have room in the RV to stock a supply. So thank y'all for all of y'all. Like before I even knew to close to turn off my stuff, I had sold my last inventory and I forgot about it. And somebody placed an order. Well, a couple of y'all placed orders and I had to do refunds. But um, I have zeroed out my inventory on the site. Um, but it's coming back. It's coming back as soon as we get situated and set up. And I need to create. I want to create like a um, edge balm. Because this. My edges are suffering from the braids. And it's braid season. So I'm going to have to baby these things. Like they there but they thin. So we're going to figure it out. And I need to drink some water because my skin is not skinning. But yeah. I said all of that to say we're gonna go hang out with our friends and um, I picked up the camera thank y'all for checking on y'all girl thank y'all for being in my inbox thank y'all for being in my YouTube messages we're good we're just trying to get life situated so I appreciate y'all and yeah let's get it all right y'all so we made it to Trill Burger owned by none other than the Bun B so we about to see what this is all about Hey, 
he in here working his business. That's what I'm talking about. Well, right now, I was a hit the food was good the burger was juicy fun fact he does not bun be does not like mustard on his burger so you cannot get mustard in that establishment they don't even have mustard so you can get ketchup and that's about the only condiment that they have but we got the og burger with combo with fries um and i think babe got the double og babe triple. got the triple so babe got a triple og burger with fries and it was really really good like i would recommend i think they've only been open for a little i think they've only been open for a little a couple of weeks so it's fairly new and it was really really busy but now turn left we got in we got in and we got what we needed we ate we sat down we had a good time hanging out with peggy and donald um yeah, so that's our little Houston family. So we're so excited that they're here. I'm able to hang out with them. Um, really, it's really been so much fun. So yeah, we are headed to the supercharger station. Then we have to take somebody because it's Friday and traditions have not changed. He wants McDonald's. Um, so I'm gonna get him, he wants a milkshake. He get McDonald's because it's Friday and he wants a milkshake. So I'm about to take him there. And then I'll see y'all later. Grace, you got your milkshake? No, I just wanted y'all to see that y'all friend got his milkshake and he added on an apple pie. And we actually had to go to two McDonald's because the first one did not have ice cream. And I said, boy, 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 welcome to civilian life. Because I don't think we ever had to deal with them not having ice cream in the military. Like, I don't think they ever did not have ice cream on base. But, welcome to civilian life. So, yeah. We are headed home. We had an amazing time. And I don't know if I said this, but I hope I did. The food was good. The burger was good. The fries, they were alright. But the vibe was unmatchable. So, yeah. If you're ever in the Houston area, definitely check out Trill Burger. It was good, and then apparently the um I had got to the uh, watermelon lemonade, and he sucked that thing down. I didn't even get to taste it, but Soraya said it was good, so I'm assuming it was good. So check that out, and I think they have like an orange soda as well. But yeah, it was definitely it was definitely worth the hype, and definitely worth the wait in line. The line looked long, but it went by really really quickly. So yeah, see y'all. Do you know what today? July 1st and by the looks of my head it's go get my hair done for my birthday month day so I told you guys yesterday we're trying out a new stylist here in the Houston area so we are hopefully going to come out of the salon looking and feeling like a million bucks um, babe is driving it's his first official day as a retired civilian and I got him driving me around then I think we're gonna go out for a little bite to eat. So y'all coming along to hang out with us on this good day. So happy Saturday, y'all. When y'all see this, it will probably be Sunday. So happy Sunday. And I hope you guys enjoy the vlog or are enjoying the vlog thus far. All right, y'all, so we got a little time to kill before the appointment. So y'all know in true Texas form, we are trying a new Kalashi place. It's called the Kalashi Factory. I looked it up online. They have more than Shipley's has. So we about to go in here and see what they got. And then we'll be back in the car for a taste test. All right, so y'all, I ordered my drink correctly. So get into it. It's the white mocha. That's what you're supposed to get, yes. So yes, uh, we went to Kalachi Factory. This is mine. This is the pizza one. Yours is over there. We want to see. So I got a pizza Kalachi. Heavy on the pepperoni. And this is the barbecue.
y'all i'm the worst blogger ever but your girl's hair is done did wig split okay so we rocking the bob what's your name bob so they calling you bob 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 um so i cooked dinner for us but we had went to crawfish cat but yeah so the battery died but yeah so i made us some shrimp and grits i was supposed to make lamb chops to go with it but i was not home but um i'm about to nibble on this and i'll probably see y'all in the morning good morning family so as you guys know yesterday was july 1st we set our intentions and one of the things that i really had to hold myself accountable accountable with is movement so it is before 9 a.m your girl is up dressed ready to go work out i'm gonna take my girl missy with me you don't have to wait for me gabe want to look for my airpods because they got displaced on the trip here so even if you can't find them while it's only 81 degrees outside let her out there too while it's only 81 degrees outside i am um gonna go move my body there's some other goals that i want to accomplish and i will take you guys along on that journey with me but for now let's go get our walk on all right fam so we are back from our walk it was an excellent walk. Um, I was able to get some devotion in, some alone time with God, some praise and worship in, um, and just really hone into my attitude of gratitude. So I'm grateful for that. I'm about to go wash my body. It is hot out there. Texas is hot. It's hot. So I will see you guys when I get out the shower. And I'll tell you what's on the agenda for today. Not much because I need to get this video out to you guys today. So, yeah, I'll see you in a little bit. All right, y'all. So, we are out the shower. I got Tootie with me. And, um. We're going. She's my chicken one now. Cook with her. We're going to my sister's house to cook her, surprise her, and cook and her. We, and Sunday I said dinner. my chicken house. Huh? I said my TTL. Are you going to your TT house? Uh -huh. Yeah, you're going to your TT's house. So we are going to pop up on my sister, cook her Sunday dinner, or cook Sunday dinner at her house, um, just so we could spend a little family time. She has been on maternity leave and she goes back to work this week. So I just wanted to do a little something, something for her, um, just to take a little stress off her back, start her week off good and i just wanted just a way to show you know my gratitude and let her know i love her because y'all know she let me she let me be in and out her house for like two months so i appreciate her um and i just want to i just want to love my baby sister just a little bit so we are actually getting ready to go to heb to get the stuff um she been begging me we actually had meatloaf on our meal plan for today but i didn't take the meat out um, and I could have took it out now, but since we're cooking, I'm cooking for a, um, for two families, I need more ingredients anyway. So I'm just going to go start from scratch and get all the things that I need for my HEB. And I will see you guys either at the grocery store or at my sister's house. So let's go. So we have made it to my sister's house and we got little Emery. Say hi, Emery. Hi. She says hello. So we about to start cooking dinner. I already told you guys what was on the menu. And uh, yeah. But she is small. All right, y'all, let's get in this. Let's get in this kitchen. You got Soraya on the veggie prep. I don't think y'all seen her this vlog. Have y'all seen her this vlog? How do people see you today? This vlog? Maybe. Can we, after this, can we get some cake, please? Huh? Can we get cake? Can we get cake? Cake from where? I don't know. Ask your TT about some cake, because I don't know where to get no cake around here. TT, where do you get cake from? She don't eat cake. Okay. from the Oh, she get it from the HEB. Your car is here. You could probably drive. No, because I'm cooking. How am I supposed to drive? You chopping vegetables. I'm cooking. I'm cooking. 
All right, y'all, let me get started on the bread, at least put sitting that in the buttermilk so it's soft. I'll catch y'all later. Ladies and gentlemen, there's something about this yeah. girl, man. From around she my way. Well, well, Ever try to hold back your feelings? Yeah. Would it just be the same? I make my sauce with ketchup, Worcestershire, and a brown sugar. You make your sauce how you want to. I'm about to throw a little bit of honey in that thing. We're about to be on and popping. Then we in here watching The Perfect Fine on Netflix. If y'all have y'all watched it, it's got Gabrielle Union in there. If y'all seen it and y'all liked it, let me know down below in the comments and we can have a conversation. I'll be back. So how does it feel to have your sister at your house cooking in your kitchen, messing up all your dishes? It's so nice. I was not expecting a Sunday meal, but it's a definitely a good way to send me back to work. Send her right back to them people. So let me check on this um, meatloaf. Let's make these mashed potatoes since Soraya is asleep. Gotta do the heavy cream because you can't have no dry mashed potatoes. And a little buttermilk because we got it. My sister don't have no masher, so I'm using this. Do you got a masher? I don't see one. The key, the trick to amazing mashed potatoes is to boil your potato in chicken broth. If you ain't boiling your potatoes in chicken broth, I don't know what you're doing on your mashed potatoes, but that's what I do. You gotta season it up. Using Kinder's Master Salt, garlic sea salt and butter, Garlic powder, onion powder, cause you know, that's the dynamic duo. A little pepper. And a little coarse salt. Let's taste it. A little more salt, and I think we good. Yeah, I'll see y'all later. Okay, y'all, so I'm over here trying to convince my sister, who, y'all know, I'm the gadget girl. So if it's a kitchen gadget, especially nine times out of 10, I'm gonna have it. I've been on the search for the Ninja Creamy. If somebody wants to give me that for my birthday, I would gladly accept it. However, they're sold out everywhere. He didn't know about that till just now. That's why you looking like that. That's a ninja cream. It's an ice cream machine, but it's the small one. You got an ice cream machine. I know, but not in the RV. You're not gonna be. I just want a ninja creamy. I'm gonna get one, y'all. If y'all see one, get it for your girl. Um. But uh, yeah. So I am the kitchen gadget girl. So I'm trying to convince my sister that. She needs a food processor. I really feel like a food processor isn't necessarily like a kitchen gadget, but it's a ne kitchen necessity. Like I feel like when you build your kitchen, you need a you need a food processor. Now, my sister is the girl that don't like stuff on her cabinet. She don't like stuff on her countertops. She don't like stuff. Period. I think if she could have one pot, one pan, two spoons, she would. She over there laughing because she probably would. If you can have one pot, one pan, that's what you would do? I would do, I need two pans. I need the small one and then I need the big pan. I would say four, big pan, small pan, big pot, little pot. That's it. 
ain't working. Ain't gonna work for me. So I don't know if y'all, I don't, I didn't even show y'all, but when I came over here, now mind you, we staying in our RV right now, right? I still had to bring like all my stuff. Cause I had to make sure I could make, I, I could make it work. But she had a lot of stuff, but she didn't have some stuff. But she need a food processor for sure. So I think if she don't get herself one, I think she need to get herself a food processor. Because she like cheese and the holidays is coming up, y'all. Like they knocking on the door. We in July. Christmas is like five months away. Thanksgiving is like four months away. Yeah, four months away. So who gon' who finna grate all this cheese for the macaroni and cheese? Because what I'm not gonna do, I got my sister in town. What I'm not gonna do is be in this kitchen by myself this year. And with Soraya. And with Soraya, right. She gonna be in the kitchen. My sister was supposed to be helping me in the kitchen today. She didn't help me make nothing. Only here. But she showed taste tested some stuff. So anyways, below in the comments, y'all tell my camper friend hey. without a camper that she needs a food processor. And tell her what y'all be making in y'all food processor. Because I told her top two, peanut butter and my minced garlic. So what y'all be making in y'all's? So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Remember to like, comment, subscribe. Tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend. Tell your mama them. Tell your daddy them. Tell your sister them. Tell your brother them. Tell your auntie them. Tell your uncle them. Tell your cousin them. Tell all of them that CC's World TV has a lot going on and you don't want to miss it. I'll see you guys at the next video. Peace. Emery, tell them bye-bye. Say bye-bye.